be a flat foot. Then the flat feet follow through. Then the hands come out. So again, the next foot, flat foot. And again, we should be able to do this without it taking any energy away from the body. So it shouldn't be an effort to go through that range of motion. So have a go. Set up the push up. First position is flat foot on the ground. Flat feet walk through. Yeah, flat feet, flat feet, no knees. Beautiful. Then walk the hands out. Do it again, flat foot, first point of movement. So our question to ourselves and our athletes is, is this taking energy? Is my body working against me as I try to go through these ranges of motion? And if the answer is yes, then I'll put some more flexibility work into my athletes' program. Yeah, it just hits. Yeah. <laughs> A new hamstring. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if you could just detach your muscles from their argument insertion and roll them out with a rolling pin and then just reattach them? It'd be nice to just roll them in and do that anyway. Roll them out. Beautiful. Jump to your feet. Good job, everyone. A little bit of blood flow on the back. Oh, turn around and facing me. So now what we're going to do is again, I'm staying with the whole posterior. When I actually work with athletes, we mix them up. We'll go posterior, anterior, we'll do lateral. But we're just staying with a theme as we go through, okay? So this time I'm going into what we call a Russian walk. So my shoulder blades are down and back, my hips are tucked underneath. I've got my beautiful athletic posture set. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my knee and extend my foot without my posture changing. So I lift and extend, lift and extend, lift and extend, and always pulling back into dorsiflexion. And once I've got six on both sides, I'm now going to go down and I'm going to do an ankle tap with my fingers on my glute, so that when I pull up, I make sure my glute's turned on. So my legs are straight, and I'm taking small steps, and again, it shouldn't take any energy at all. So start with our Russian walk, knee and extend, knee and extend, keeping torso stability, being able to lift and lengthen the foot, keep the toe pulled back into dorsiflexion, beautiful. And again, thinking about are those connective tissue structures restricting my movement, is my flexibility restricting my movement, and if the answer is yes, then our fuel tank is going to be depleted as we're running around the field. Inside of the heel, come up and squeeze. We're just working through our dynamic mobility work, so none of it should take energy. Both legs are strong and straight. And we want to really assess our athletes as we're doing this to see where their restrictions are. Back leg is long and straight, and just swap them over. 
came in nice and mobile, warming up the hips. Again, you're getting your athletes to really critically reflect upon pelvic girdle mobility, restrictions that are going to take away from their athleticism, they're going to sap their energy on the field, running not only in their repeat sprints, but also at a sub-maximal level. Beautiful. So then, once you have done that, start in your nice, strong Spider-Man or hip flex position. Use the strength of this leg and pop up into a stability hold. of energy. One more little run up and back get some blood flow. Million dollars, wouldn't you? 